At the application layer, Botnet uses objects and services to complete all its tasks. Botnet offers over 38 services. These services are partitioned into six classes, alarm handling, object access, device management, network security, file access, and virtual terminal. Some examples of some of these services would be the read, write, change of value notification, time synchronization. In BotNet, objects model the view onto a device through the network. Objects do not define the internal function of the devices, the algorithms I'm, in this case. But the objects just give an outside view onto device functions. For example, the BotNet loop object is defined in such a way that different loop algorithms, PI, PI PID, sequence, and predictive control can all be mapped. Properties are parameter of objects. Some examples of the properties would be the present value alarm limits, name, and status. Botnet specifies 123 properties of objects. Three properties, object identifier, object name, and object type must be present in every object. Botnet also requires that certain objects support additional properties. The type of object and type of device in which that object resides determines which properties are, pr are present. Blocknet objects have two classes of properties, mandatory and optional. Blocknet distinguishes between the two. Backnet, like most other protocols, limits access to some of these properties. Properties may either be read only or also writable. And they are modifiable by Blocknet services. Interoperability is the ability of diverse systems and organizations to work together. Bachnet accomplishes interoperability through the use of BIBs, which are Bachnet inter interoperability building blocks. The intent of BIB is to provide a way for a specifier to write a performance specification without the need to understand all of the technical details on how it should be implemented. With an appropriate collection of BIBs, the specifier can describe how the system is to perform and leave many implementation details to the bidders. This is somewhat analogous to providing a sequence of operations but not specifying a prospective way how is to how is how it is to be implemented. In essence, a bib is a simple definition of an interop interoperability function. Protocol implementation conformance statement, otherwise known as PICS, is a protocol all devices conforming to Bachnet should have. PICS identifies all the portions of Bachnet that are implemented. PIX is a written document created by the manufacturer of the device and identifies particular options specified by Botnet that are implemented in that device. Some of the some examples of, of what would be contained in the PIC are basic information identifying the vendor and describing the Botnet device, the bib supported by the device, the standard Botnet device profile, all, sta all non-standard application services that are supported, a list of all standard and propriety objects types that are supported. And for each object test is supported, any optional properties that are supported, which properties can be written using botnet services, if objects can be dynamically created or deleted using botnet services, any restrictions on the range of values for them. Using these two protocols, botnet conforms to a standard, a premise. Only with conformity to the standard, inoperability becomes possible. ASHRAE defines the test procedures in the Botnet interest group, defines the test beds, and, the and does the certification process. How to identify which vendor's devices it is on a network is told by the vendor ID, which is on the first through the third number on the instant number. The instant number is unique to a whole network which is going to be implemented into a building or a campus. The instant number has to be unique so there is no confrontation inside the network.
every computer and device has to have a unique instant number even the maintenance workers computers that gets it plugged into a network every once in a while another way to identifying devices are by their media access control address or better known as the MAC address. All the vendor IDs are listed below in the URL address. Those will show every single vendor ID in the world. Below are a list of the three main vendors for Boise State University and their vendor IDs. Siemens Building Technologies their ID is 7 and Johnson Control is 5 and Phoenix Control Corporation is 26. This is the Siemens BACnet IP diagram. This was drawn up by a Siemens employee that maintains networks for HVAC. As you see, there are many different instant numbers on a network. There are some for a router, there is some for a switch, there is some for tiny controllers. The computer on the left hand side which has the instant number of 700 is configured to be a BBMD which we will talk about in the next slide. As you have may seen there is BACnet MSTP and BACnet IP. The BACnet IP is a subnet and the BACnet MSTP is a subnet of a subnet. Now we are on BBMD. BBMD is BACnet Broadcast Management Device. There is a limit to one BBMD for every subnet on a network. A BBMD makes a router act like a hub. This is done by a table which will be shown in the next slide. This is the BACnet broadcast management device table and it is showing all the addresses that it is able to send a signal or a message to simultaneously. The port number in the table would actually have a BAC zero which that is in hex but if you convert it into decimal it would bring up 47808 as the port number that conversion can be done in the windows calculator by going to view programmer then it would show the calculator like it is shown in the picture below. This is a animation diagram of a BBMD working and passing through a router to other subnets and sending out a message. This animation is showing how a router works unlike a BBMD. In the beginning of the presentation, I stated that there is a problem with communication difficulties between vendor devices on a network, and BACnet, which has protocols, solves that communication difficulty between vendor devices. The protocol that allows one vendor device to communicate with other vendor devices is ANSI 
ASHRAE 135-2010. The other problem was difficulty of signal traffic, which the BBMD makes signal traffic a lot easier in a network and would solve the difficulty of traffic in the network. We thank you for listening to our presentation about BACnet working with HVAC. My name was Jacob and my partner's name is Jose.